Hello and welcome one and all, I am Old School Gamer 1971 a special shout out to Millie and Lloyd, hope you're all having a great day and are staying safe. Today's subject matter is Third Hour Thoughts, Mafia Definitive Edition. Before we begin if you enjoy the video give it a big thumbs up, like and if it pleases you check out my channel and subscribe. So without further ado. Thomas Angelo, Detective Norman. Alone. <laughs> no, sir. Mafia Remastered Edition is an open world action adventure developed by Hangar 13 that released for the PlayStation 4 in 2020. This is a remake of the PC game that released way back in 2002 and 2004 for the PlayStation 2. I would say it was ahead of its time for what it tried to do, but failed quite badly at the time in my opinion. This is a built from the ground up remake, which is evident by screenshot alone. Hangar 13 are an American developer based in Novato, California. They were established in 2014 and their first game was Mafia 3. They've also worked on the Definitive Edition remakes. Having played all three Mafia games from their catalogue, I will say that it's been a positive experience so far. So let's see how this game gets on. You play as Tommy Angelo, a cabbie in a dead-end job, who is happened upon by two mafiosa one evening, needing an escape. Tommy is rewarded handsomely and thinks nothing more of it, but having a taste of excitement, his life suddenly feels void and pointless, until again he finds himself in Little Italy, and after some good old revenge, finds himself joining the Mafia. Beginning before World War II, this game is about Tommy's rise through the ranks. No, I will not go through any more of the story. These games are about the journey. One of the cutscenes at the beginning, he's grassing up to the police. So some things don't quite work out. It will be so much fun finding out my way to that point. So is this Mafia Definitive Edition? Or is it Muffin Defluffed Admission? The control system is pretty damn good, it's the game that's unforgiving, and when I think about unforgiving, that's when I think of the race. I am sure that anyone who is trying to play this on keyboard and mouse, back when this was released, for PC will concur to the train of thought that it was shit. I was talking about it with Tom and the remake for the first time, the first thing he said was about the crap controls for PC, map to the controller. This is just bliss. Big thumbs up from me here. Play it in classic mode and it might not be such a thumbs up. Now I'm going to say that this game is both gameplay and plot heavy. So why mention it at all? And I would say to you, what if you want to get the most out of this title? Watch those cutscenes. There is occasional clues in them. But more than that, sometimes it shows you what kind of an a-hole you are dealing with. Just one more reason to kick him in the ding ding. The map, it's a useful thing. It shows you where to go, if there is an object nearby, someone to talk to, your next objective, a map of the sitter, a smaller map of what is nearby. Might sound like I'm being an arse, but make the map your friend. It also tells you how far opponents or the police are away from your location. Straight off, the first thing you will notice aesthetically is those character graphics. They look so damn good. And being honest, it plays to one of Mafia Definitive Edition's many strengths. And whilst not all the characters are quite of the same quality, they all do still look outstanding. Even down to the textures on the clothing. Bang on. I spent a good while being blown away by this open world. And then we got to a bit with foliage and it has some major pop-up issues, filling in section by section. Considering how polished the rest of the graphics are, this seems quite big and did take me out of the game. However, you are soon back in the city and cooing at the graphics. It is almost incomparable to the original I played the first time on PC. And whilst pretty good graphically for its time, its control system was crap. Then I had the misfortune of playing Mafia on the PlayStation 2. What can I say? But they tried I suppose. 
fast forward to today this does play as good as it looks which can you really ask for more than that look at this How you doing, kid? This game has one hell of a soundtrack. Mini Lamucha, anyone? It fits the game so well. Even when some of the music wasn't released at that point, you know, like as in, in the game, it's on the radio, it is forgivable. I can guarantee I will never need Spotify, no matter how long the platinum takes. I am so glad that there is so much driving, because as soon as I get behind the wheel, on goes the radio. Honestly, I don't remember much of the cutscenes from the PC or PlayStation 2 versions. Yes, I know, I could check on YouTube, but I'm scared of what I may find. This time, however, I am most satisfied. Everyone plays their part to a T. It's so nice to play something that the cast just sounds right. And I don't just mean game right. They sound like they give a damn about the characters they are playing. Fantastic. To be honest, it was Mafia 2 that got me into the series. The first game had been nondescript. I remembered more bad than good. And not only just that, I could not really have told you what had made it so bad. I had not gotten into the open world genre at that point. To think that this has been made from the ground up to this aesthetic quality a congratulations go to all at Hangar 13. So ultimately, did Mafia Definitive Edition do a good job of drawing me into the game? For the most part, yes. The one thing that did pull me out of the game, the first time it happened, I was out. I was out of the game for a solid five minutes. But once I was over it and went back out to the countryside, it was still noticeable but I was still in the game. It just gave me a bit of a chuckle. My expectations were high going into this game, not because of the earlier versions, but instead Mafia 2 Definitive Edition and Mafia 3. I had enjoyed those games so much. This was so nice to get into and just enjoy. The fact it is so good is just icing on a damn fine cake already. Could this game exceed my expectations? I suppose in one way it has. I did not feel going into this game that I would feel like I needed to play it by the end. And on that solid note, yes I will be returning to the game. Whether it's Tommy, Vito or Lincoln, the protagonist in this series has always made me feel invested in their lives, their plights or even what comes after the game. At no point are they the hero. They are not looking for redemption and they know who they are. It's nice to play the protagonist and not feel guilty for doing what should be natural to the character. Anyone who feels like shooting people, kneecapping the bad guys, collecting any old crap, would get something out of this game. Someone who gets that the open world genre is sometimes about the story, sometimes it's about side missions, and sometimes it's about idling the day away while doing nothing. In short, this game is for anyone that wants to drive around in the 1930s cars whilst listening to Mini Lamucha, just like me, or likes being violent, or Mafia games. Mafia Definitive Edition earns itself a solid 9.3 out of 10. It is far from perfect, but it stuck with what the original was and is. So Mafia Definitive Edition, this most definitely is. I'm off to kneecap some gobshites who have brought shame on the family. Jesus! And it's done. If you found this video interesting or have any suggestions, please comment down below as it will put a big old smile on this old face. Let's get the conversation started. I will answer you all. I post new content every week. Have a great day one and all, and thank you for your support. This has been Old School Gamer 1971, signing off.